first off, um, you'll notice that there's a passive solar greenhouse there in that image. And that's the passive solar greenhouse that we've been playing around with the last decade. And believe me, I've made a ton of mistakes on this greenhouse, but the mistakes that I made were the best things that I ever did uh, because it's allowed me to really fine tune how we go about designing passive solar greenhouses. Um, and so we'll talk about a couple of those mistakes, but mostly I wanna talk about the things that you need to do in order to make sure that you don't make those mistakes in the first place. So one of the things that we got right, right from the beginning, was getting the orientation correct. So this is the only location on my property that I could actually uh, orient a greenhouse such that it was facing towards south. Now obviously in the northern hemisphere you want your greenhouse facing towards south, but I get a lot of clients talking to me saying that, you know, or concerned about whether or not they can't, they can get the greenhouse specifically to the south. And it turns out that as long as you're within 45 degrees of south, you're still gonna be okay for your greenhouse. Um, and the ideal orientation for your greenhouse is actually slightly to the east, believe it or not. In fact, having your greenhouse 15 degrees to the southeast, so 15 degrees off of south towards the east, is the optimal greenhouse orientation. Now you might wonder why that is, and the answer is that you want um, the early morning sun in your greenhouse, and so having it slightly oriented to the east is going to give you that uh, sunlight um, and that's because it's the coldest time of the day like right in the morning there and so you actually want that early morning heat early morning light um, and then by orienting it slightly to the east we're actually going to reject some of the light in the afternoon and so typically afternoon sun is when we're going to have the most heat in the greenhouse already and so we don't want to add any additional energy into that space uh, because it can end up being detrimental generally speaking when your greenhouse goes above 26 degrees celsius or probably about 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, plants really start to get unhappy, at least a lot of them. And so we, we generally don't want to have that really hot afternoon sun if we can help it. So orientation is really important when it comes to greenhouse design. Hey, you're probably already subscribed, but if you're not, click on the subscribe button below and I will make sure to keep you up to date with the most recent permaculture information and education. Bye.